Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for Hoss Chat number seven. Seven Hoss Chats and counting. There's going to be some more. Don't worry about it. Um, I've had a pretty good week this past week. Uh, this weekend was kind of busy for me. I was up in Kingston on Friday at Riverhead Brewing. We had a great time uh, playing the little show there. I played that with Gabe Potter. If you're listening, brother, tremendous, tremendous show as always. And uh, yeah, I stayed up there with uh, my cousin. We had some fun times. Went out uh, for a couple of drinks, a couple of pops. And uh, yeah, that was a good uh, good show. And then we were up in Sarnia watching a friend's band, Strange Times. Tremendous band. And uh, here we are now on Monday. It's a new week. Time to get ready. Uh, this week, I'm going to be at Allure Brewing on the 25th playing a show. And uh, we got some other fun stuff coming up. The Ottawa Christmas Market. I uh, just announced a show today about the uh, Food Bank of Waterloo region that we're doing. It's a charity show where 100% of the proceeds go to the Food Bank of Waterloo. So that's going to be a fun one. And uh, yeah, but you know what? I've talked too much already. We're going to get into today's host chat. Today I have my pal, my friend, ladies and gentlemen, Cassandra Gasmeyer. Me. It's an honor. How are you doing today, Cassandra? I'm I'm doing really good. We are at Waterloo Park currently. Everyone should check out the Christmas lights. Live from Waterloo Park. Live it's from Monday Waterloo night. Park. Oh, SNL, a little action. Could be. Can't say that. I won't get sued. Oh, not not that show that has Pete Davidson hosting. Uh oh. Who? Um. Yeah, I'm here with Cassandra Gasmar live at Waterloo Park again, coming from a truck. A truck. A truck. We're filming these hot shots in trucks. That's coming becoming a trend. Maybe you'll get like sponsored by a truck brand. Sponsor me trucks. <laughs> Sponsor me trucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh Cassandra, before we like I guess get into uh we were just having a, a little conversation about some interesting things, I guess we could say. Um give the people the backstory. How do I know you? Who's Cassandra Gasmar? Just let them know who you are. Well, okay. Well, I'm Cassandra Gaspmeyer. Nick and I met, what were we grade? It was grade nine or grade 10, wasn't it? Yeah, I want to say probably grade, grade nine. Grade nine, okay. So let us paint the picture for you. We, well, Nick went to St. David's High School, if you guys know where that is. And I went to Sir Johnny McDonald, which is now Laurel Heights. That doesn't matter. Well, it does, but not right now. Name change. Um, name change. And so S Jam was playing St. David's and I went to the football game and one of my friends already knew Nick. And so we knew that he was going to be there. And so we were all going to get introduced. And for some reason, I knew that Nick had chickens stored in a van at his home. <laughs> so Okay. I would say stored. <laughs> we converted like a van into a chicken coop. Sure. <laughs> and they got to hang out. Yeah. And then we ate them. Were they tasty? Mm -hmm. They were pretty good. They no. were pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were pretty good. <laughs> McDonald's worthy or no? Uh, way better. Way better. better. What's better. the best chicken nugget you've had? Um, homemade. Hell yeah. With your chickens. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. So then my opening line to Nick was something about, I heard you're the guy that keeps chickens in a van. And then we were besties ever since. But. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I think so. Uh, well, that, like, most of that's true. And then I'll expose Cassie for a minute. Um, I remember me and Cassie were just, like, texting for a long time. And then I texted her one day and asked her advice on dating another girl. And Cassie was like, yeah, like, go for it. Here's how you should do it. And then I found out years later, Cassie was like, oh, you know, like, I had a big crush on you. <laughs> and then you asked me for advice on somebody else. Yeah. It broke my, my... How old did you have been? Like 13? We were young. We were very young. To set the context for how young we were, we were texting on Kick. Oh my gosh, Kick. Is Kick a thing so? No. It's I gone? It's gone. You know what else is gone? Omegle. Good. That, Good. that Good. was Omegle. unhinged. Omegle was not... That's not legal. That shouldn't be legal. Anyone you talk to about Omegle has like the worst story to tell you. My brother, allegedly... I mean, I, don't, I wasn't with him. I don't know if this is true. Could have been a fake thing that he saw but apparently he saw someone hang themselves oh that's not good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not good um if you don't know what omegle is it's like a like what like a video chat website that you would just it would you'd rant it was like skype random yeah it like skype roulette kind of and you could if you wanted to you could do like um filters to find other people who did like the same filter that and then you like match with them so like 
it's if you did like one direction and then it would like match with other people who did one direction you'd like find each other so then there'd be like these creepy people who would be picking things based off of who they thought like they'd have like a certain person in mind that they'd want to match with and they'd pick their filter based off what they think that person would pick that's mm. that's i don't know about all what? this internet stuff right that's why i'm so surprised it took so long to like stop well that's not good um well, okay, that's how, like, you know me and we know each other. What do, what do you do in life? What Who is Cassandra Gasmeyer? Um, I currently work as an optometric assistant. Ooh. So if anybody needs an eye exam, let me know. Let me just plug um, Optical Illusions, Weber Street in Waterloo, Weber Be- Street in North. Hey, man, sponsor Hoss Chat if you'd like. Sp- yeah, I think they want to. They told me. Really? <laughs> they want to make Hoss Chat glasses. You know how they do, like, the year um, glasses for New Year's? Oh, yeah. They're going to do that for Hoss Chat. Beautiful. Send me 30%. We'll, we'll call it there. No. Yes. Only 29. <laughs> <laughs> they can only afford 29. Oh, no. Oh, rats. Oh, oh you rats. rascal. Um, What is, like, the craziest story you have from working there? Has anyone ever came in and, like, requested something crazy? Uh, honestly, it's pretty chill most of the time working there. But we do get people who are just, like, unhinged sometimes. Um, And we have, like, we work next to that shelter that was built. And, like, most of the time the people there are so lovely. Like, everyone is, like, great and, like, you know, um, just need, like, a little extra help, which is totally fine. There's this one gentleman who comes in. And I actually haven't seen him in a while, so I hope he's doing well. But he used to come in, like, every week. Mm -hmm. um, And his prescription is very, very, very strong. Like, um, he's negative 18. So anyone who knows that, like, negative means that he has, um, trouble seeing, like, far distance. Okay. So, like, I'm, it's called, I always get them confused, which is so embarrassing because I work there. But basically, he's, like, very highly myopic, um, which is, like, you know, can't see. Anyway, um, and he talks very, very loud. So, like, he's, like, always shouting at you, but then he also has to stand, like, super close to you because even with his glasses, he can't see. Mm. Um, and then he always comes in and he asks us to clean his glasses because we have an ultrasonic cleaner which, like, shakes all the gunk off. So then we have to take his glasses from him, of course, because you're not going to put him in the ultrasonic cleaner with them. Probably not. No. And then, so then he doesn't have his glasses on, so then he has to stand, like, really fucking close to see you because he wants to see you when he talks to you, which is, like, kind of nice, you know? Um, oh, I'm Sorry. But, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first f bomb on Hoss Chat. No, I'm so sorry. This episode is officially marked explicit. <laughs> anyway, what, ah! were what were you saying? Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna repent my sins. So I'm leaving it in. Are you? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but one time he came in and like he wants his glasses clean. That's fine. We're gonna do that. But I'm, like, helping this gentleman and his wife. Like, I'm explaining the deals to him. And he just interrupted the conversation and starts, like, scream talking to the wife. And one thing to note is he always smells like reefer. Like, really strong. Like, that, like... Maybe that's why you can't see it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like, yeah. I got that glaucoma. <laughs> but it's, like, it's that dank smell. Like, it smells like a grinder. What? That was, like, left in a garage. This episode is now rated R. <laughs> This episode actually just banned. <laughs> uh, can you not talk about that? I don't know. We, we, we're yet to find out. It's a herb. Okay. And it's Why legal. Not? Why not? This isn't the prohibition. Hey, this is your episode. This is your appearance. This on is Hoss my chat. chat. <laughs> this is cast chat. Cast chat. Wow, that sounds crazy. But wait, there's more. Uh oh. <laughs> so then he goes to use our bathroom, which is totally fine. But the way that our bathroom is, it's like right next to our like staff kitchen. Mm hmm. And my desk is, like, right around the corner from that. So he's, like, using the bathroom, and I'm, like, sitting at my desk, minding my business, probably on my phone. But that's fine. And then all of a sudden, I hear, like, rummaging in the fridge. And I was like, hmm? So I go, and he's in our fridge. I go there, and he's, like, holding a thing of pesto. Oh, okay. And he has, like, the coffee mate out. Nice. And I was like, David, no, like, you have to put that back. We can't do that. And he was so, like, confused with why he couldn't be doing that. Interesting. He wanted to pair pesto with coffee mate. That's what I was thinking. I was like, if you're, like, hungry and you need food, that's one thing. What is this combination, though? That's kind of crazy. Wow. But usually there's, like, honestly nothing crazy that goes on. Everyone's, like, really nice. Most of the time. Pretty relaxed. Yeah. I had a really old man yell at me one time, and then I had to go home because it gave me, like, profuse diarrhea. <laughs> oh, well, on that note, that's so cool. Um, 
is this something like you you saw yourself working in a position like that or you just kind of like fell into it or, or how, where tell them about like your your experience with going to school oh my <laughs> oh i love the school so after i graduated high school i well okay so when i was in high school i applied to three different things i didn't know what i wanted to do but i thought i wanted to do law because my dad um like put that in my mind when i was younger and i was like oh that could be kind of cool um, but then I didn't realize how much freaking schooling goes into law mm-hmm. school and like how long it takes for you to like actually start making back what you've spent. I'm like, that's crazy. Um, so I went to Laurier, but I did, I got in for communications and honors arts undeclared. Um, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I did the undeclared cause I was like, like, I just had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and took so many different courses. And then I took a bunch of philosophy courses, which I really liked. And I did like decently well in them. So I was like, maybe I'll major in philosophy. Cause fun fact, they score the second highest on LSATs under, I think it's like econ or something like that, but scores highest, which is like so random, but yeah. So I was like still thinking about law, but then I dropped out basically. And I was like, I don't know what I want to do. And I didn't have money to go back into second year. So then I took some time off and then I went back for communications with an um, option in entrepreneurship because I was like, oh, maybe I'll like open up my own business, which ultimately I think I'd like to do one day. Um, but then I also dropped out of that. Folks, as we're talking right now, <laughs> I just watched a guy fall <laughs> in the parking lot. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but that was perfectly timed. That's hor- That's me. That's my falling grades. Oh, that's it. He's giving you a there visual it demonstration. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? Oh, I thought that car was going to drive over the curb. I hit the guy. Yeah. Ooh. Um, but then, yeah, I ended up at my current job basically because I was working at Shoppers Drug Mart for a while and then I wasn't loving that anymore. So I got a job as a barbershop receptionist and then I was despising that. Um, so I was applying to other jobs and I guess I had applied to my current job like months before I was even looking for another new job. Like I applied to it when I was wanting to leave shoppers and then they got back to me and I never got back to them. You you got back to them. But then they contacted me again and they're like, hey, I'm just wondering if like you're still interested in the position because I guess they had been out of a assistant for like six months, which like should have been a red flag, but honestly, like I love it, so it's fine. Um, and then I just ended up there and it's honestly like I didn't think I would be interested in anything to do with optometry, but it actually is pretty cool to like work at a job where you know nothing because of the days go by so fast because you just learn everything. That's a good perspective. That's it's actually like, a very such a good unique perspective. perspective, especially like today and Think about how many people we know went to university and got undergrads. And I'm not bashing getting undergrads or masters or anything. Yeah. But they're like, they've gone through this whole process and now they're not even in the field they want to just because the way the market is right now. No, literally. Like, I I do think ultimately I'll probably go back to school. um, But I don't think I'd go back to university. I think I'd go to college because it's so much easier to get a job out of college than university. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it depends, obviously, like what you're going into. But for the most part, for what I've heard from people, like I went to college great experiences work directly with certain people and there's yeah that builds a beautiful relationship for when you graduate Mm -hmm. do you see yourself ever going to school again i think so i think like i've thought of a different like a few different things but it's just like i think my fear is like i don't want to go back and spend so much money on something i'm not going to actually pursue um because like that stuff is expensive yeah well i know i know i think i sit on here too that um i've well you know this too i've been to like three different schools Yes. And that wasn't cheap to do. That was not cheap to but do. But you're breaking in the books with Hoss Chat. Gonna be monetized soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor us. Do it. More. More. More Hoss Chat. Um, okay. Well, what? Okay. This might be a bit of a, a thinker of a question for you. What is like the craziest story that you can share on Hoss Chat that you have of something that like has happened that we've both been been present for? But that's Hoss Chat appropriate. Well, that, like, kind of eliminates a lot. Why don't you share yours first? I feel like Um, you have one ready to go, and that's why you asked this. We've honestly seen, like, quite a few crazy things. I remember one time going to the mall with you and a couple of your friends when we were, like, really young. Because remember, I don't know if people do this, like, nowadays, but, like, when you were, like, 15, 16, you just hang out at the mall. Yeah, yeah. And we would hang out at the mall here in town. 
and you would just text people or kick them. And you would be, <laughs> and, and you'd be like, "Hey, come over to the mall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here all. I'm gonna be here all day." Yeah, we had spent so much time there. We had no money. No, you had no. You have like four <laughs> bucks for the day. You're getting, you're using that four dollars to buy a plastic water bottle, and you're using the water fountain to refill it. Yeah, you might get a timbit. Maybe a couple of them. if they're giving them out. A pair of them. <laughs> and you just text people. So like, I was up there with some friends, and I texted Cassie. He was like, "Come up, come hang out with the mall." So she brought some friends. And when you're at the mall with like girls, you're like, "I am." the king of the town and so yeah like it was fun and we were hanging out and this is when target was still a thing and target, target was at the our, our, our local mall so we were hanging out in the target and we bumped into some other friends that i knew from high school and we were kind of doing our own thing they were kind of doing their own thing but then we went to target and we bumped into this group of guys again and they were like hey we're playing tag right now do you want to also play tag and i think you had kind of like meandered off to do okay. something else and i was like standing with these guys and i was like i don't really want to play tag right now i'm like i'm here with some girls i'm i'm, I'm, I'm my, here with some biddies <laughs> my, my, my plate is full and they're like come on like just play like a like a round with us i was like okay so these guys start running around target and moments later i see a yoga ball go sailing <laughs> across the store like a cannon. What? It just goes flying across Target. And I'm mortified because I know it's one of those guys. <laughs> it has to be connected. Connected? Are you like crime <laughs> stoppers? You're going to find the delinquent children? I was so scared. And immediately after this huge crash, this thing lands. And there's security <laughs> running down the aisles. And I'm so scared because I've never, I, I've never done anything in my life bad i had no encounters with police or security or anything so i kind of just like i went to survival mode I'm like how do i not be associated with these guys because we were all spread out <laughs> so i start reading the labels on the candles in the aisle i'm in in target like what? picking up and like analyzing them and the security guard comes down my aisle and just walks by me he kind where of, am i i don't know you were somewhere else like on the other side of the store but i remember like for a minute like i like read it and then he walked by me, and I could hear him finding the guys in, like, the next rows. And he was like, you guys are banned from Target. And I was sweating. I was like, jeez. And then I ran over to you, and I think I was like, let's get let's get the heck out of Target. And then Target was shut down. Then Target did close shortly after. That was it for Target. Yeah, because they kicked that yoga ball, and it killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it could have. It, it killed could've. the owner of Target. <laughs> that was just, I was so scared. I think it knocked over, like, a display shelf or something. There was, like, a large noise. That was the literal head of Target dropping. <laughs> dropping. That was my grandmother. Oh. I, I hope not. Well, Cassie, I think we're, uh, this is Hoss Chat number seven. We've done it. That was crazy. Is there anything you want to, like, final thoughts? Anything you want to say that's, um, like, your, your final wishes for everyone that you want to tell them? Well, I just really hope everyone keeps watching and listening. Well, I guess just listening, um, but to Hoss Chat. And that way you can keep, you know, having all your little pals out here and keep shooting the poop. <laughs> nice, nicely said. <laughs> nicely, nicely worded. Thank you, thank you. Keep coming out to the shows. I hope you get a lot of turnout for the, the food bank. And I hope there's lots thank of you. good donations. Will I've you be it. there? I will be there. Tremendous. You heard it here I'm first, actually headlining. Oh, uh, I nice. Just, it's so weird that you left me out of the flyer. That's crazy. Uh, it's yours, the updated version's coming in the mail. Oh, I got lost. The mail. Yeah, 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 yeah. UPS, yeah. man. It's coming by pigeon. Uh, guys, thanks again for listening to another Haas chat. Um, this week, yeah, uh, November 25th, I'll be in Alora. Uh, a couple weeks after that, December 10th, I'll be at the Ottawa Christmas Market. December 15th at Rim Park uh, is Country Christmas for the Food Bank of Waterloo. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now, folks. Uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Yay! What do you think? Let's start right now. I'm liking this. Three, everyone's rolling in. Yeah. What you said when you said our love was dead. So I went to where a car.